There are questions about the Denver Broncos running backs, and Najee Harris out of Alabama could be a target for them. When looking at everything you have to when evaluating fits of players with teams, Harris checks all of the Broncos' boxes. Pat Shermer runs an inside zone rushing scheme with some outside runs mixed in, and that is perfect for Harris and the traits he has. Between the tackles, he has the power and burst to follow the lanes and get the chunks of yards, and at times break away good-sized runs. There is decent explosion to his game and solid cutting ability to work those outside runs, but his vision could be a bit better there. It is hard to not like Harris with his versatile skill set and his playstyle that is a physical beat you down type of play. Denver could be parting ways with Melvin Gordon, depending on his legal issues, and Philip Lindsay in the coming weeks. That would really push running back way up their need list, which is why Harris is likely getting considered for them. Now, the value of running backs has been diminishing over the years in the NFL, but Harris has the skills to somewhat overlook that. The earliest Denver should look to grab him is if he fell to the second round, and that is when he starts to have solid value rather than in the first round. With George Payton, who was with the Minnesota Vikings when they drafted two running backs on day two, Denver could follow that path. That value the Vikings had under Rick Spielman, Payton's mentor, could be there in Payton, and with the need, it just adds up. However, it is still hard to go that route because running backs translate to the NFL so easily and we keep seeing success of later day three picks. It is going to be interesting to see how the Broncos under Peyton value running backs in this draft that has plenty of options besides just Najee Harris. For the full scouting report on Najee Harris, make sure to check out milehighhuddle.com. For Mile High Huddle, I'm Eric Trickle.